Hi scholars, I'm going to teach you how to design a campaign sign. Campaign signs are usually very simple and they have bold colors and symbols on them sometimes. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert a text box to start with and that's going to be the frame for your campaign sign. Then what you want to do is you want to give it a bold outline and it can be any color you want and you want to fill it with one of your colors and really you should stick with two or maybe three colors on your campaign sign. So my campaign sign is for the sunrise party. So I think I'm going to do an orange background and then I'm going to put some yellow text in there. So I'll begin with vote Navin for now he's going to be running in about 25 years. So 25 years from now, it'll be 20, 20, no, oh, sorry, 20, 25 years. Uh, well, 25 years and we won't be electing a president. So it'll be 20, 48, I think. That's when he's going to be eligible. And that's when most of you will be eligible too. That's when you'll be old enough. So then I'm going to use the centering button to center it. And I'm going to use this button right here to center it in the sign. Now, it's still very small, isn't it? So I'm going to make it much bigger. And once it's big enough, I'm going to change the color of the text. I'm going to make it yellow. And I'm also going to change the style of the font. And I'll just kind of fool around with different styles that I like until I find one that I think is good for my campaign sign. This one's kind of neat. A little too light. Um, and you just kind of fool around with it and eventually you're going to want to put a symbol in there and that is where the transparent button comes in. So what you're going to do is you're going to open a new tab and I want a sunrise image. Okay. And I'm going to go to tools, images, okay, image tools, and then I want to do color transparent. And that way I get a transparent background. Um, he is creating the sunrise party. So maybe I could use this one. If I put it in the picture by copying it and pasting it in there. Um, the problem is, is that it's, it kind of, it kind of fades into the background a little bit, doesn't it? So maybe I'll go like this and I will maybe bring this back up top. Maybe I'll make this bigger. Now I can make it definitely size 50, maybe even size 75. That seems like a good size. And you see how it kind of fades a little bit? So maybe I won't make the background orange because you can't really see the symbol on there. Maybe I'll make the background, maybe I'll make it a, like a really light, light blue. So just so that it, oh, I accidentally did the text that color. This is the background. Yeah, really light blue. Now the font is not gonna show up. There we go. I don't know, just kind of fool around with it, see what you think. One of the things you can do is you can actually recolor the images. You go, you click on the image, and then you go format, image, uh, format options, that's it. And you go to recolor. So I can recolor it yellow maybe, um, and that might work. Yeah, I like that. And I'm gonna make the font yellow again because that's his color. Yeah, I like that. I think that looks good for his campaign sign. Ready to turn it in. So fool around with it. Definitely give yourself time to fool around with it. You definitely wanna give yourself time, but have some fun with it. And of course, stay safe and keep learning. Bye-bye.